Lions and other big cats have been a part of the circus industry for many years, particularly in Latin America and various parts of the world. However, a recent movement to end circus animal suffering has led to comprehensive bans on the use of wild animals in circuses. The impact of these bans became evident when a group of rescued circus lions experienced their new home and walked on grass for the first time. Sasha, Nina, and Kimba, three lions with a history of unhappiness were kept in cages at a Guatemalan circus named Circo Navarro for a decade. Their brief moments of freedom occurred only during performances. The lions' lives were marked by brutality, as they not only had to perform tricks but also underwent the painful process of declawing to make handling by trainers easier. Declawing involves partial amputation of their toes causing immense pain. Fortunately, their ordeal was about to end. Following the official ban on live animals in Guatemalan circuses, the lions were being kept illegally. Animal Defenders International stepped in to assist in the release of Sasha, Nina, and Kimba, along with another pair of lions, Tanya and Tarzan owned by a different circus company. Upon their newfound freedom, the lions were uncertain about what lay ahead. The first step was to provide them with a new enclosure. Animal Defenders International worked diligently to construct homes that would ensure the safety and well-being of these big cats. During the construction process, the lions were temporarily housed in large crates significantly more spacious than their previous enclosures. With fresh hay and toys, the newly designed enclosures were expansive and featured real grass, providing an environment that was both safe and enjoyable for the lions. The dedicated staff at Animal Defenders International was thrilled to witness these majestic animals exploring and adapting to their new home. Sasha was the first to experience the joy of touching the grass floor for the first time, and her reaction was filled with glee. This was an entirely new sensation for her, as she had never set foot on grass during her time. At the circus, Sasha's excitement only grew when she discovered a tired toy in her new enclosure. She immediately engaged in playful actions chewing on the toy and pawing at it, showcasing a stark contrast to her previous sad life. Under the circus tent, inspired by Sasha's enthusiasm, the other lions were eager to explore their respective new homes. Kimba, too, displayed a playful spirit, batting around the large toys placed in the enclosure. The lions quickly adapted to and appreciated their new surroundings, reveling in the simple pleasures that were once denied to them, like the feel of grass beneath their paws, hanging freely from a tire swing, or relaxing on a bed of hay. Jan Creamer, president of Animal Defenders International, remarked on how the true characters of the lions were shining through in their newfound environment. Tarzan initially hesitant as he explored the enclosure, gradually warmed up to the grass. On the second day, he began to exhibit kitten-like behavior, playing with a tire swing. While the lions will not remain in these enclosures indefinitely, Animal Defenders International has plans to relocate them to the organization's expansive sanctuary in Africa. In this sanctuary they will have even more grass and ample space to roam freely. The process of preparing and screening the lions for their journey to the African sanctuary will take some time. Nonetheless, Animal Defenders International is delighted to offer Sasha, Nina, and Kimba a second chance at a life filled with care and compassion. It's worth noting that these three lions are not the 
sole beneficiaries of Animal Defenders International's rescue. Efforts from Circo Navarro in August. Animal Defenders International successfully rescued Thomas, the brother of Sasha, Nina, and Kimba. Thomas had been given to a zoo by the circus. And when the zoo could no longer care for him, Animal Defenders International stepped in to provide a new home. Now, Thomas has been joyfully reunited with his siblings. Animal Defenders International has played a crucial role in ensuring that former circus animals find appropriate homes and has been a driving force behind the movement to ban the use of wild animals in circuses. Several countries, including Peru, Bolivia, Guatemala, Colombia, Greece, Macedonia, and numerous European nations have effectively implemented such bans. The organization's commitment extends beyond lions. In addition to rescuing lions from circuses, they also saved nine tigers. These tigers will be sent to sanctuaries. Tigers for Tomorrow and Big Cat Rescue. Both located in the United States. Meanwhile, Animal Defenders International has its own sanctuary with 450 acres of grassland in South Africa featuring trees, lakes, and water holes. Fundraising efforts are currently underway to support the sanctuary and contributions can be made through their website, recognizing the challenges of relocating lions across the world. Animal Defenders International is collaborating with Greater Good Org to raise funds for this significant endeavor. The relocation to the sanctuary will mark a transformative change in the lives of these lions, providing them with the life they truly deserve. Friends, do you believe in miracles, if you don't believe it? Then this story is for you. Of course, most of you will have a hard time believing what I'm going to tell you today. And frankly, it's not surprising because this case is unexplainable by science. No humans, not even the most seasoned experts, can explain it. A 25-year-old American, Mary Kelly, lives in Minnesota, and like thousands of other American women, at the age of 24, the young woman becomes pregnant and her lovely Husband is excitedly expecting them with the arrival of the baby. Everything went as usual. Nothing surprising happened here. And Mary was eight months pregnant at that time. And her life was as usual without any changes. In January 2014, Mary was driving home. She had just come back from the city. There was a terrible snowstorm that day. It fell all night until morning. Snow covered everything. The ground was covered in 40 inches of snow. And Mary was in her SUV. A few miles from her home. When suddenly her car stopped and the young woman. Realized that she could no longer move forward. The service had to clear the road but since it's not a major. Highway and it's not a busy arterial. It's just a small road in the forest so they haven't gotten there yet. And the car got stuck in a snow bank and the woman made all attempts. But the results are hopeless. She can only watch the buggy get stuck on the track. Helpless. Mary got out of the car, hoping that a rescue vehicle would come to pick her up soon. But the blizzard was getting bigger and no one showed. Up for half an hour. The young woman was desperate. She was starting to freeze. She understood that her car couldn't go on because it didn't have enough gas. But the worst part is that it is already dark. The snow is getting heavier. Her heart is beating faster. She is afraid to stay here for too long. She is alone deep in the forest in the snowstorm. On the snow-covered road miles from home and the city. It will be difficult for her to stay here until tomorrow. The road to the city was a bit shorter so Mary decided to walk back and she made it through the snow and the blizzard. 
She managed to walk almost half a mile and then. Something happened here that this is unimaginable even. In the worst nightmare. Suddenly. The young woman was in a panic. She felt that she was going to give birth. And she knew she couldn't go any further. And she saw a place under the nearest tree where. There was less snow. And she had a hard time getting there. And all Mary said was. Oh God. Why is this happening to me? Please help me. Five minutes later she lost consciousness from the cold and pain. You guys think that might be the end of the story. We might think that a few days later people will find. A frozen body here. But actually. What happened after that it cannot be explained by science. I don't know how much time had passed since I passed out. Marie recalls. But when I awoke I felt it was warm. My head on the back of a huge gray wolf. It was probably the leader of the pack. The other wolves. About nine of them. Surrounded me and blocked the blizzard. I didn't even have time to be scared. It was more like a dream. They didn't show any aggression at all. Circled me like a babysitter. And about twenty minutes later. Out in the snow. I gave birth to my baby. A female wolf carefully arched the umbilical cord. Then she and another wolf licked my baby. As if they knew and understood what to do. And the rest of the wolves snuggled up to me to keep me warm. The female wolf was nibbling on the umbilical cord and. Nudging my baby gently towards me. My baby was crying which meant he was alive so I. Started nursing him and during this time a wild predator. Was nearby with a dense wall protects me from the blizzard and I'm like one of their pack. They're there until I need their help. The chief licking the snow and tears off my cheeks. By then Mary's husband had started looking for his wife. As she was long overdue. And he and his neighbors drove a heavy truck towards her. Along the road the young woman had walked. On the way they found the abandoned car covered in snow. And they continued to search. And then they saw a pack of wolves. And they thought something terrible must have happened here. One of them picked up a gun and started shooting into the air. And the pack scattered. But they didn't go away from the young woman and her baby. They came closer and the husband found his wife with. The newborn baby in her arm sit was unbelievable. The man said afterward. How could this be possible? I can't imagine something like this happening. The predator has stayed around and despite the. Presence of a pack. The wolves don't even bother to leave the place. They watch as people carry the woman and baby. Who have. Been in their care into the car and an hour later the. Young woman is safely delivered city hospital. A few days after this incident. Mary was interviewed by reporters. And they will surely not forget me. The woman said. I'm sure one day I'll find time to take my little bill to visit them. And we'll go to the place where those feral. Bloodthirsty carnivores saved me and my baby from death. I am sure they will know me and my children. This is not an accidental situation. Of course. These days. We are inseparable from them. Rangers and hunters declined to comment on this incident. After all. They have never seen anything like it. Other experts believe that wolves can smell the child. So their maternal instincts kicked in. And of course they discouraged the young woman from. Meeting her wild savior. Which they felt was dangerous. But Mary Cranach thinks she has nothing to worry. About right now. And she's looking forward to seeing them. Friends. Do you think this story has a scientific basis, why didn't? The wolves harm the girl and her child, be sure to write. Your opinion in the comments. Wolves are one of the most mysterious animals out there. Their lifestyles and habits often startle people. But more than that. They inspire fear. Our story today takes place in Siberia. Russia. 
and it is told online by a man who works as a paramedic at a city hospital located near a forest, which many consider to be a rather good location, as one can enjoy the clean air and beautiful scenery. But then a strange story happened. People were walking normally in the hospital grounds. When suddenly, someone started screaming and yelling. Run. It's a wolf, some did run. While others froze. Which had never happened before. Everyone knew there might be wolves in this forest. But no one saw them. Meanwhile. Wolves just stand there watching people. Suddenly. The protagonist of our story. A paramedic urges people to calm down and take no action. Saying that wolves come to them for a reason and they. Need to understand that reason first to understand what. The animal needs. It is not afraid to come out of the forest. It just sits where he is most visible. Everyone froze in shock as the man walked slowly towards the wolf. After all. Wolves are carnivores and the man could be attacked and torn to pieces at any moment. But the wolf sat still and paramedics approached the wolf. And began examining him. The animal calmly asked him to do the examination. And then the man turned to the surprised people. And he told them that the wolf had come for help. Apparently some unskilled hunter tried to shoot the wolf. With a shotgun and now he is wounded and in pain. The paramedic went to get his instruments and then returned to the wolf, who cleaned its wounds, clipped its hair, and began removing the bullets. Clearly the wound was caused by a shotgun and the doctor had to do everything without anesthesia. But the wolf was a perfect ideal patient. Didn't even whimper and when the man was done, the wolf went back into the forest and no one looked to him. The brave ambulance later told them that he had grown up in a tiger village and that he had faced wolves more than once before. So he had learned to understand these animals, knowing that they were intelligent and noble. But even so, he is still amazed by the behavior of this wolf. How did he know the exact address of the hospital? Does he know this is where he can get help, and he took a huge risk to come to a place with so many people after all. If it weren't for this ambulance worker. No one knows how this story would end. David Meck. A zoologist from the United States. Believes that wolves are the most amazing animals in the world. It is wrong to think that wolves always attack people. In fact. These animals will pose a threat to humans only under special circumstances. Menace David Mech has studied wolves for years. And they have surprised him many times. When a badly wounded wolf was attacked by his own pack. He was amazed. The wolf died. But he saw how related the wolves were to each other. But later. When they saw what they were doing up close. It was quite shocking. Although I have seen wolves from the air chasing and attacking other wolves. Scientists say. He was also amazed when a one-year-old wolf deliberately. Didn't kill the prey it had caught. Instead bringing it to a puppy. Scientists have also proven that wolves are the direct. Ancestors of domestic dogs. So they should be considered friends of man. Animals never cease to amaze us. If you agree with this point, please give us a thumbs up and see you next time.